A charcoal chimney should be an everybody's charcoal grill starter pack for good reason, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of it in this video. A charcoal chimney lights your charcoal twice as fast as doing it directly in the kettle, and that's one of the biggest benefits because it acts like a slow and sear or a vortex by directing more of that air through the charcoal and getting it to burn extra hot. When it comes to lighting charcoal for your kettle, the amount of charcoal you light will have a really big impact on your final temperature. So think of it like a recipe, and the charcoal chimney is a big measuring cup that you can use to help you out. These are just some general guidelines, but this is what I use to hit the temperatures I want. A quarter chimney is good for low and slow, or around 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Half is good for 275 or 300 degrees, and a full chimney is good for roasting temperatures at 350 degrees or above, or direct searing. As you fine tune that recipe, keep track of the amount of charcoal you lit, the kind of charcoal you used, and the final temperature that you hit in your kettle. If you do that, you'll help take the guesswork out of cooking next time. I like to put wood chips on top of my charcoal as an indicator to see if I need more time. If the chips haven't burnt up yet, then the charcoal isn't fully lit. This acts kind of like a training wheel to get you prepared, and then over time, you can stop using it once you get it down. Charcoal chimneys require some sort of easily combustible material that you put here on the bottom, and there are a lot of fire starters out there made specifically for grills. One of the most common ones is but from Weber that makes some starter cubes or a wax covered tumbleweed. If you don't have those on hand, you can totally make some yourself. All you have to do is take some newspaper print. I like to use the grocery store ads that come in the mail, put a few drops of oil on it and it'll burn up just fine. Important safety tip, never light the charcoal chimney directly on the cement. There could be water in the top layer that would get hot enough to boil and pop that top layer off. Worst case, it knocks the chimney over and could start a fire, but either way, you've messed up your driveway. It's a whole lot better to get a $2 paver, which will probably break too, but it's a lot easier to replace than your driveway or your back patio. Another good option is to put the charcoal chimney in your kettle. Just don't do it on the grill grate level, put it down on the charcoal grate level, because a lot of times you leave some ash and you don't want that to get into your food. Once you light the fire starter, watch the smoke coming off the coals, and you're going to see it change from a thick white smoke to gray to blue or even no smoke at all. Clear smoke is a sign that the charcoal is fully lit, and you're going to end up with better tasting food because you waited. A common rookie mistake is pulling it way too early and ending up with off flavors because of that ignition smoke, so plan for about 20 minutes to do this step correctly. All charcoal is going to put off some of that white smoke, but some do more than others. Briquettes often put off more than lump or high-end charcoal, but at the end of the day, they all cook your food. In the US, the most common and readily available charcoal comes in either a white bag or a blue bag and has a big K stamped on each briquette. And they're notorious for putting off a lot of white smoke, but that doesn't mean that you can't make good barbecue with them. All you have to do is wait for the ignition smoke to die off and you'll be just fine. As the white smoke dies down and the wood chips are fully burnt, you know that your charcoal is totally lit and ready to go into the kettle. But an important safety tip, always wear closed-toed shoes when you're around lit charcoal. As you pick up that chimney, some of that charcoal may drop on the ground, you could step on it, or it could fall in between your toes, and you'd get burnt. I know that sounds crazy, but it totally happens, and you hear about it all the time in the barbecue forums. There are a lot of ways of arranging charcoal in your kettle depending on how you use it. For searing, you want to stack it high on one side to get it closer to the grate, and another common method is to cover half the bottom of the grill with charcoal, so that way you have a cool side to retreat to, if it ends up being hotter than you expected. Charcoal can be really unpredictable, and it's always nice to have a safe spot to retreat to to avoid burning dinner. A chimney is not the only way to light charcoal for your kettle, and if you need a little bit more firepower, check out my video where I review this product, which is a propane-powered torch that'll light your charcoal in no time. 